morning, I went to apply Elta MD UV Clear and all I had left in it was a micro droplet. I finished another one. So I grabbed this uh, PCA Skin Weightless Protection Broad Spectrum SPF 45. It goes on pretty similar. I put a second layer on in the car just now. It goes on pretty similar to Elta MD UV Clear, maybe a little bit heavier. I wouldn't say it's like blow me out of the water, <laughs> but it's pretty good. I'm wearing the sheer tinted uh, of that same one. Oh yeah? Yeah. The water resistant one? Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks nice on you. I like it. It goes on really well. Yeah, yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad. Got your coffee. Oh, kind of nice big coffee this morning. Yeah. Just what we need. <laughs> Pretty fruity. So you got oatmeal this morning? Oatmeal with a lot of fruit and um, flaxseed and hemp seed. Ooh, it looks good. And it's more cinnamon. Oh yeah, you gotta have cinnamon. Oats, uh, toasted pecans, strawberries, uh, cinnamon, and a little bit of dried coconut and dried blueberries. And there's some blueberries in, in there as well. Mm -hmm. Ripping Ooh, pumpkin spice. How adorable! Like you could make, that would Dr. be very Jay. easy. Yeah, you could the just take pretzels. You could just take those Lara bars and roll them into that, and yes. then put. Cute. Yeah, last night at at Sweet Tomatoes, one of the vegan things on the dessert bar was the chocolate sprinkles. Oh, were they were vegan? Yeah, oh. chocolate sprinkles and rainbow sprinkles are vegan, along with the crushed Oreos. I, I wonder if this mix is. I mean, I know we don't need to buy the mix, but it's got palm oil in it. That's oh, not really I don't vegan. Like that. Okay. We could make that ourselves. But, yeah, I think it's so cute. Mm -hmm. These are fun to give as yeah. gifts. Remember the oatmeal we made cookie the, things? Uh, peppermint foot soak. Uh, yeah. What did you make that out of? Epsom salts and Epsom salts and peppermint um, uh, essential oil. Oh. Um, and pink dye. Oh look! It's the Hask hair masks I'm enamored with. I think they're the same price as they are at. Um, this is for hair, right? Yeah, I did the keratin one. I haven't done the coconut one yet, but I don't know what got into me, and I decided to do one of these. I got it at Kroger, and I've got to say, I really, I really liked it. I recommend them <laughs> if you're looking for a, a good time. I was just thinking though, they, um, the vegan marshmallows. What are they called? Dandies. They need to come out with a. Uh, pumpkin spice dandies and they also need to come out with um, like a peppermint marshmallow. I'm saying this like I would just eat them. But I don't really well, enjoy they'd be marshmallows. They really good in the cocoa um, Four Sigmatics mushroom. Yeah, drink. they would. I just had two of those today. <laughs> yeah, you you really you really enjoy those. What's been your favorite Four Sig um, the cocoa with a little bit of chili spice. That one is I a good like one. one yeah. a lot. And then number two would be the, uh, the sweet one. The oh, are, I wonder if these have dairy in them. Isn't this like a rum raisin flavor? I have it in my head. Oh no, that's got dairy. <sighs> no leche. Sin leche. Ooh, Shirley Temple. Now, I wouldn't want that with sugar, but I remember when I was a little girl, we would go to, like, the, those types of Americanized Mexican, we went to some Americanized, like, Tex-Mex restaurant once. Chevy's. Chevy. Was it Chevy's? Chevy's. 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 And I would get a... Cheese? No, it was che Chevy's. Oh, okay. And, and you got the... And then I'd get a, a Shirley, Shirley Temple. Temple. I thought I was... I was having uh, cocktails. Yeah, well, that's the plan. This looks like something dogs would like moon cheese. How cute! Look, Big Lots has you beat here on the uh, fall day four cross stitch. Isn't that sweet, the little oh, fox? For fox's sake. Oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> um, it's nice. See my little uh, kitchen towels I got? 
Yeah. They're kind of woodland theme. They have some fox. Um, and they're on the on the stove. I can't believe Shut the fox them. up. <laughs> I'll have to look for that. Wonderlust. Oh, this would be cute for your air plant. Oh. He's happy in his uh, Yeah, shell. he looks nice in his shell. I guess it would be cute for an air plant, not yours. <laughs> oh, look at this uh, flamingo. Humorous London. Uh, for your toiletries. I don't carry that many toiletries with me when I travel. I see these um, what's in my travel bag videos and I'm like, my God, I would never carry all that stuff. I don't think I would use all of that. Oh, Ooh, merry moment, speaking of fun. I got the Christmas candles on. Ooh, cinnamon rolls, living colors. Remember that show in living color? Oh yeah. That smells like a craft store, cinnamon roll. I don't need more $5. What I need are things yeah, to you put the receptacles on. You don't need bins. You need surface. Exactly. This is the pretty... I want suspended surface. You, know um, you mean like Cirque du Soleil? <laughs> yeah. I want um, pneumatic ascension and descension of things that I don't have to see or have near me, but when I need them, they just appear with the touch of a button, a little ring of a bell. That is cute. Do you have a nautical theme? That is cute. It's a nice desk organizer. Oh, Big has good stuff. Boy, this, uh, yeah, has a bit of a whiny, singy song voice. Is he saying lay it all on me, Matt, now? Yeah, he's just going to sounds like he's had too many micro brews. He's getting whiny. Are you allowed with the music playing? Oh, I, I probably have to mute over that, yeah. Looking for a grater? Yeah, that's a nice one. Doesn't have a price on You have, um these trivet holders and they're really handy for hot yeah. beverage coasterage I wish he'd stop singing <laughs> this seems, yeah like he's should be doing karaoke and he's not he sounds like he's uh needs a stool should softener <laughs> You don't even eat cheese. <laughs> Vegan, what is, I know, they're handy for veggie well, shredding. I don't know. <laughs> carrots, maybe your carrots, but you've got your, um, you've got your, my what? Your machine, your pul pulverizer, pro food processor. With I the... got rid of that. Oh. Yes, I'm decluttering, and that was one of the things that left. Waffle maker. I always get tempted by waffle makers, and I would I, I can't recall eating a waffle more than maybe five times in my life. But every time I see a waffle maker, I think, oh, I would like to have a waffle maker. No, I bought these, remember? Oh, you got rid of They're them? They're gone, yeah. That's because they got splintering. Ooh. This is festive. Now the pineapple sweet and the pineapple cutting board. Yeah, but, but they say that, that, that tells you not. It does. This goes up here. Oh, maybe oh Tybee like food bowls. They're cheaper than Marshall's. Yeah. Now, this is a pretty good price on these cookie sheets. They're Wilton. You get three of them for $10. Those mm -hmm. are, that is not cheaper than, than Kroger. That's, that is a knockoff salad shooter. Only less good. Look, it's annihilating those cucumbers and turning them into pickle oh. juice. <laughs> yeah, don't let me buy any trays. This is Cute. I've got the handcuffs in my back pocket for tray buying. <laughs> Mugs. Oh. Oh, those are cute. Wow. Sippy cups. Oh, cute. little for foxes. Birdies. It's with big lots in the foxes. They're really uh, woodland. I'm glad we 
Okay, I'm over here. There's a lot, you know, strike while the iron's hot. They must, I think at the beginning of the month, maybe, they get a new inventory. Oh. Ooh, look at all the pumpkin spice stuff here. Oh, there's a sticky. Pumpkin spice tortilla chips. Oh yeah, you this love these. Works. Hold on. Can what, I get it? Um, I don't know. Sprouts? Yeah, you said they're really good. Two dollars, I'm getting these. Yeah, How okay. about the Enjoy Life? Uh, oh, those are good. That's The Enjoy iron. Life yeah. gingerbread. Yeah, the Enjoy Life those gingerbreads are, are really good. Oh, Let me try yeah, this. Just put it down and walk away. Otherwise, you're going to get that caramel corn envy that you got last weekend. We don't want that. See, pumpkin spice marshmallows. Dandies, you need to come out with those. You haven't heard of cookie butter? No. It's that uh, Biscoff cookie butter that everybody always gets from Trader oh, Joe's, I but I don't think it's it. vegan. Now this is very disgusting, but you know how the mama bird chews up the food and regurgitates it in the... <laughs> well, Thanks for ruin is... ruining pumpkin spice cookie butter for everyone. I'm gonna eat a, a mushed up cookie. can have the fruit of there. Right. Here we go again with the foxes. Blanket. The fox he is getting a new car seat. Pretty though. soon I'll come over and you'll be sleeping on the floor and Tybee will be sprawled out in your bed. He's getting a new car seat. I'm just looking at the Christmas decor here in, here in Big Lots. And they have, I love the little truck with the tree in the back. They have a lot of it here, and they have a candle. I kind of want to get this. It's only six dollars, which is pretty good for a candle. Although I don't want to cheat on Tuscany, but it's so cute. If they have this in round, it's, it's a balsam it. fir. It's really nice. But this joy candle. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh, the joy is not good. It is not. It is not good. It's, it's um. It's like a it's like a very cheap woman's perfume. Not a cheap woman, but a woman's perfume that is cheap. Can I get the little tablecloth? Oh, that's cute. Do you think it it's too gaudy? It would be cute for Christmas, wouldn't yeah, it? It would be. I'm gonna get that. Yeah, it'll look nice. I like the way they decorate it here. Oh, now that's prettier with the plaid and the, and the just the table runner. Trees. Here's the. This one's a little more subtle. It's got the trucks, but it's also got scribble scrabble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one's nice because it's not PVC. PVC always reminds me of the kids' table. Easy to wipe well, off. Oh, yeah, I like to do that for pumpkin carving. Yeah. Do people put up Christmas decor, specific shower curtains? Yeah, this would be the place to get them, though. That's not a bad price. Ten dollars, you get the curtain and you get the hooks. If that's your thing, decorating the bathroom. Point set is nice. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, they have a lot of glitter, glittery Christmas stuff. That's like what you get at Bath and Body Works. Santa Claus. This is nice. That's a pretty tablecloth. Oh. You could span that multiple seasons too. 60 round. It's not some sparkle. Here's a nice snowflake. Yeah, you're not really a gold sparkly. You're more traditional Christmas. Mm -hmm. Feather tree. Mm -hmm. Halloween stuff. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> oh yay! Thanksgiving decorations. I say that as if I'm somebody who decorates for any season, but I always feel like Thanksgiving gets takes the back seat in everybody's mind. Canadians do Thanksgiving right though because it's in October and not it's November. Twenty dollars. This is a very full read. Yeah. It's got a lot on it. Yeah. Remember you made that wreath last year and you thought it was going to be a fun, quick, and easy craft project, but the one that you got were making from the Dollar Tree and it ended up being like an eighty-dollar ribbon wreath. <laughs> That's expensive. 
Yeah, those dollar, dollar ribbons add up. I have it in the bin. I don't know if I'm going to bring it out this year. Oh, these are cute laundry baskets, aren't they? They are cute. They have a lot of good, uh, they have good Thanksgiving decor it's in here. Thing. Yeah. Maybe you should get your tree here. That one's a little aggressively flocked. <laughs> Looks like a can of spray paint Whoa. exploded on it. Again with the foxes. I like them. I'm not complaining. I just have noticed that uh, Big Lot seems to have a monopoly on all things fox decor. Oh, this is the best moho. Yeah, you've got a bottle. Of Aside that, from what you? you could make, this is the, this is the best moho. Guys, we found a Christmas tie bee watch. <laughs> That's exactly what he does. <laughs> That's tie bee. <laughs> That's exactly what he does. Spin around in a circle and get excited. That's <laughs> oh. tiny. Edible, edible arrangement. You know, his flower-shaped fruit is fun just because. <laughs> those are, I, I really enjoy those edible arrangements. Sometimes I, I contemplate sending one to myself. So Can we put one. it for a centerpiece? Yeah. We're about to have a little lunch and we're gonna pick at that while we while we have lunch, but I was just doing a little work in my planner and I'm loving the uh, the new planning pouch. Look how cute my little Totoro pen is peeking out there. And I have my matchy matchy notepad, all of my pens in here, my sticker box, just uh, working on my monthly monthly spending tracker. I like to track my spending over the past month. It, Kind of, I think it's fun to see see how things vary. I really think it's interesting to see how like your energy bill changes from month to month. Yeah, especially in the summer. I made a nerd when face you, when you've myself. got that air conditioner charging yeah. on. Would you whip up for lunch there? Oh, I had um, it's actually leftovers. Mm -hmm. um, the veggie stir fry. Oh, cool. With brown rice and quinoa, and then hemp seeds on top, Ooh. spinach in the middle. Your veggie stir fry is the frozen Asian yeah. stir fry mix from Costco. And it's no season. From Costco, yeah, it's so quick and easy. I like having it. Oh, okay. On hand. Let me show that in the fridge. Good stuff. Asian stir fry medley: mushrooms, broccoli, yellow carrots, red bell pepper. Um, what are those white things? Oh, water chestnuts, <laughs> yellow bell pepper, and pea, uh, green beans, it looks like. Delicious. Tybee. When the, he, he misbehaved when the fruit bouquet man came to deliver the fruit bouquet. Tybee decided that he was going to make friends with the delivery man and exited the apartment off of his leash and he was very stubborn out there, refusing to come in, but he was too nervous to like run off or anything. Thank goodness. Yeah, I got really scared, but he just sat there. And then when I try and, and catch him and bring him in, he'd get like, When I was coming back, I happened to see the delivery man there, mm -hmm. and he was looking back, looking around. I think he must have been looking for Tybee because I thought, oh, yeah, I, w I was telling the delivery man, can you walk inside the, the apartment so that the dog, Tybee would follow him? And uh -huh. so he tried doing that, and Tybee was, Tybee was not having it. You are, you are something else, Tybee. You're a pickle. I gotta keep you girls on your toes. He's got energy. <laughs> He's happy. I made myself a salad. I just have some romaine and spinach there and some beet chips some steamed carrots, some steamed um, potatoes, 
roasted bell pepper, or no, pimentos. Sorry, it's just jarred pimento and hummus, and then I sprinkled some hemp seeds on top. And there's table blonde mustache and apple cider vinegar. Ta-da! Well, hey guys, what's up? I uh, am home now, obviously. Had a good run in the gym. Got out of the shower. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, a product that I have tried over the past several months, I will say. I actually, you know, I've been experimenting with it off and on for the past four months. It is the COSRX Aloe Vera Oil-Free Moisture Cream. I use this intermittently, uh, largely just to try it out, um, to talk about for you guys. You've asked me to review it before. Many of you are motivated to use aloe-based products in your moisturizing routine. And I like this COSRX Aloe Vera. <laughs> Uh, aloe vera moisture cream. It's one of the better ones that I've tried of, of all the different aloes that I've tried. It doesn't have any fragrance in it. It's really nice. It is, um, you know, a nice gel, gel consistency. It's not, it's not thick as thick. It's not as thick as the, um, as the deep dive cream from Red Earth or the Hotalabo um, gel cream that I love or even Neutrogena. Um, Hydro Boost Extra Dry Sensitive Skin, not the fragrance containing one. Everybody's like, I bought it and it smells terrible. I'm like, you bought the wrong one. Anyways, um, you know, th this is okay. Um, I, I actually really like it applied just a little bit to uh, your face after you've washed your face um, to kind of slow down that transepidermal water loss from washing your face. And uh, it makes a nice, like, little sponge on there. And then coming in on top of this with the COSRX Overnight Nourishing Spa Mask is really a great way to seal it in. If you just put this on your face and let it dry, or if you put it on a dry face, you know, it, when you first put it on, you're like, oh, this is so nice, I'm so moisturized. But it dries on there like, like a slimy film. It, it's, not, it's not a good moisturizer. It's, it, it's not occlusive enough, okay? You, you need an occlusive on top. But aloe vera is, um, you know, a, a good ingredient in uh, skincare products. You know, people have been using it for eons. And aloe vera, the plant uh, from which it's derived, uh, there are a variety of biologically active compounds and molecules with plausible mechanisms of action that have been demonstrated in the skin and various skin conditions for which aloe has been shown to be helpful for, um, namely redness, inflammation, and it can help with, um, also it has some compounds known as allo aliosins, aliosins, I never really know how to say that, um, uh, that actually uh, can inhibit some of the um, uh, biology and the biochemistry behind uh, tyrosinase activity, the, the enzyme activity for pigment production. So it can have a brightening effect. Um, and so, you know, many of you are motivated to use it. I will say that a lot of the aloe vera products people find irritate them, sting, itch. And when I was a child, you know, and uh, we had aloe vera plants. I always found that putting, people were always talking about putting the aloe vera, um, you know, pulp, whatever it is, on, on your skin for burns and scrapes and cuts. And I always found when I did that as a child that it itched and irritated the stink out of me and I never saw the appeal behind aloe. Um, so I can see why that may be the case for many of you, but some of you love aloe and are motivated to use it. I recommend this one. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't itch or sting or irritate my skin when I use it. I, you know, my preference is to use a thicker humectant, um, like the, um, like the deep dive cream, I'm still using that, or the Hotalabo one, I'll probably repurchase that one at some point. Um, that is my preference, but this is this is not bad at all. It's not greasy. Um, so yeah, comment below and if you've tried the aloe cream and what you think of it, but I like it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlogs. If you liked them, give them a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.